because people are seeing things that they haven't seen before. They're experiencing things that maybe they haven't experienced before. And uh, I believe that once people uh, connect, not only with the technology, the aliens, the interdimensional levels and things that are connected in this regard to our universe, that oh, there, uh, there is a, uh, an awareness that comes from that and that awareness uh, is the next step in our evolution. We're becoming aware of that and in that sense oh, the veil is being lifted so that we might see a greater uh, a greater us, uh, a, a greater consciousness of us in relation to each other and in relation to the universe and our connection. Josh, look up here. Josh. I'm just trying to see if I can capture any of them on the camera with your flash. Oh, Jesus, uh, do that again. <laughs> Okie doke. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I saw that with my eye. What was it? That is what it was. What? Look at yourself. Woo! 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 Usually when we take photographs, we just see the pictures of the things we're taking pictures of, right? Okay. We're going to show you some pictures that have different things in them. And we want to hear what you have to say about them, okay? Okay. Okay, because you're going to see things in there that you usually don't show up in photographs. All right, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. So what do you think of those things that you see? Can you describe them? No. <laughs> Was it snowing tonight? No. 
So what are those? It seemed that when there were groups of people together and they were pulled together by common interests, common places of the heart, connected, the more connected people were, the more orbs that showed up in the images. So it, we just had fun playing and playing in the field. During one of these experiences, I had James and, and two other people in the field, and I was shooting them. And James felt something high up and said, shoot up. So I shot up with just their heads on the bottom of the screen. And when we went in and examined the print, the little starburst above their heads looked just like a fairy. You could see the wings and the fairy dust around the fairy. So we started running around and, and taking shots and uh, and when they were printed, this fairy showed up above, above our heads, one of them. And uh, just kind of completely unexpected, but uh, definitely confirmed it for me, made me uh, think a little more about possibilities, I guess. When I got home, I wondered if the orbs were where I lived. There was no reason to think the orbs were only at the sanctuary. So we went to a place in the woods nearby where I live that seemed to have an enchanted forest to me. I always loved the cedar trees and the rocks that were there, so I started photographing there more and more and more. And the more I photographed, the more I saw. One day I had an itch to go out in the middle of the afternoon and photograph. I don't know why. Usually we have to wait until it's dark out to really get the orbs because the orbs seem to be created when the flash reflects off of them. There's always a flash involved. But going out in the middle of the day, I just started snapping and snapping. And lo and behold, a golden ball came right up out of the earth. I decided to experiment and keep photographing during the day. When the conditions were right and I forced my flash, I was excited to discover that I could capture them when the sun was out. I found them indoors too. My husband is a musician and he and his partner played music and were just swarmed by the orbs. The orbs love music. They love music.
there were other moments where I filmed my boys in the same spot. When we saw this, we asked him what he was doing to pull in such a huge orb. He said he was doing a chakra meditation. He continued to meditate and the orbs responded. In the beginning, when I first started doing the shooting, there were only orbs. Then, a couple months after I started, I started finding this mist everywhere. James calls the mist Pleiadian pre-contact mist. Once I started seeing the mist through my camera, it appeared with greater frequency and complexity. When I look at the mist photos, it seems like the mist is moving. Sometimes it feels as though it's dancing. As we kept shooting and shooting, the mist came more and more. Then it seemed that the orbs were coming out of the mist, but then again it seemed like the mist was coming out of the orbs. The mist feels like light beams. When I look at the photographs afterwards, it feels as though they're coming down and embracing me, surrounding me, and filling me with love. <laughs>